luxury SUVs, semi trucks, solar roofs, batteries. You may be wondering what could Tesla possibly be working on next. Today, we're here to tell you it's a hippie van. Elon calls this a high passenger density urban transport vehicle. We're calling it an electric minibus, AKA the Model B. Remember, Tesla's mission is not just to sell cars, it's to transition the world to sustainable transport. Following this vision, Tesla is on its way to electrify a lot more than just luxury sedans and SUVs. The company in its pipeline already has an all-electric pickup truck, a revamped version of its Roadster sports car, the semi-truck that Elon just tweeted about a couple weeks ago, and something else, an all-electric minibus, or the Model B. Although we don't expect the semi-truck or Model B to enter production in the near term, Elon stated in his master plan part 2 that both vehicles would be unveiled in 2017. Now that we have the final date for the truck unveiling sometime in September, we thought it was worth diving into some analysis and predictions of what we think Tesla's Model B unveiling will hold later in the year as well. These futuristic robot buses have the potential to look like nothing we've ever seen before. But when he was pressed on Twitter after releasing the master plan by Dana Hull, a Bloomberg reporter, Elon said that the, wait, let me read the exact phrase. Elon goes on to say that the design of this electric minibus was actually inspired by the California custom V-Dub Combi design art. We can only speculate that that means that he's taken a lot of inspiration from that classic 1960s Volkswagen bus that is so iconic to try and design this minibus. We're not sure why, we're not really sure what this means, maybe he's trying to play on American nostalgia, I don't know, but either way, we're in for a cool unveiling. But don't get too excited about the product's cute design. There's a lot more here in terms of fiscal attractiveness as well. As society continues to double down on urban centers and millennials show a more willingness to use public transit services versus buying their own cars, the bus market is already experiencing exciting growth. Now, we're not sure exactly which segment of the bus market Tesla is going to compete with, with the Model B initially. Frankly, eventually we see it com competing with all of the bus segments, but to start, we wanted to give you guys a couple different lenses on how to look at this. So the US commercial van market was about 378,000 units in 2016, up about 15%. Those are like smaller vans, pretty much the size of the Model B that we're expecting, but Elon himself has said that the minibus, because of its autonomous capabilities, will be able to replace a lot of the functionality with greater efficiency than a lot of the larger buses that we see on city streets today. So we also decided to look at what the heavy duty bus market looked like. Globally, there was about 220,000 heavy duty bus sales in 2015. That number is projected to grow at a 9% CAGR to about 400,000 heavy duty bus sales annually around the world in 2022. Frankly, we think that Tesla's minibus or Model B will eat away at all of these kind of commercial van and bus markets. That's why from a broader sense, we also decided to look at the fact that the public transportation market in the US is about 39 billion on an annual basis. Another stat to put things in perspective, the New York Metro Transit Association has about 6,000 buses in operation. We wanted to think about in terms of if every single bus in New York City was replaced with the Model B, how big of an opportunity would this be for Tesla? These 6,000 buses in New York City hold an average of about 40 to 50 people. So if we assume that Tesla's minibus will only hold about eight, that's about one sixth of the capacity of these buses. But due to their use of software and automation, we think they'll be far more efficient. Let's call it double. So they're gonna be twice as efficient, but one sixth the size. That means they'll need approximately three times as many Model Bs as they need current buses to replace the entire transit system in New York City. In total, that's about 18,000 units. If we assumed an average selling price of $40,000, that would equate to 720 million in revenue if they bought it directly from Tesla and that's just in the city of New York alone. So that's just to put a little context on the market size. Although these numbers help us quantify exactly how big the market is for buses today, we think that much like all of Tesla's products, the Model B is not just gonna be your standard bus, it's gonna be entering this market and disrupting it permanently with a totally different business model. Now sure, these buses are electric, like all of Tesla's products, which is great, but much like the truck, the big deal here is that it's autonomous. Having self-driving capabilities means drastically reduced operating expenses because we don't need a driver. Elon Musk 
Musk has said the trucks would have no drivers and those uh, employees would transition to the role of fleet managers, you probably need a lot less than you do drivers, so you're reducing personnel expenses, and the fact that it's based on batteries means each time you charge the vehicle, it costs less than refilling with oil, therefore you're saving money per trip. But that is all dwarfed by the fact that these can be controlled by software, are autonomous, and they'll be linked up with people's smartphones, so they'll in real time be able to be flexible, engaging, where demand is, where people need to be picked up, and these networks can adapt to where people need them the most. Timing scheduling, I think, is the biggest issue we see with today's public transport. And that's why the biggest difference of the Model B and this sort of autonomous bus thing with an app integration is that it's a two-way system rather than a one-way system. Instead of just being able to relay data on where buses are to consumers and having them meet them, Tesla's system will be able to input data from consumers telling them where they are and having the system react to that. So that's why we think just looking at the bus market isn't going to grasp the full potential of what the Model B can do. Remember, like Elon said, this is a high passenger density urban transport vehicle. They're launching the semi truck to transport cargo long distances sustainably. They're launching this bus to transport people short distances sustainably. They're going to go after every mode of transport in cities. That's why we think looking at the public transportation market as a whole is a good way to quantify the potential of the Model B. So for this week's Moonshot Monday, we think that Tesla, for its Model B program, should have a go-to-market strategy of partnering with city governments to deploy these in fleets. We don't think they could just sell a couple at a time. They would need to deploy them in a, a whole city or at least a region of a city at one time. That means working with local city governments. We think starting those conversations sooner than rather than later is a great way to do it. Governments are already spending massive amounts of money on public transit. It would make a ton of sense for them to divert that budget to a cheaper, simpler, faster, more sustainable solution like the Tesla Model B. Also, we love this business for Tesla. If Tesla can partner with cities to launch its, a fleet of Model Bs and have that be sort of its bus system, then I think they're going to be super entrenched. City governments aren't going to switch their entire transportation system overnight. We think once it gets there, it's going to be there for years, and Tesla is going to be able to harvest recurring revenue from this, either through fleet maintenance and repairing the vehicles somehow, or just charging a fee to operate them autonomously. Either way, this is a juicy revenue stream that could last for years and years and we don't think the trend is going anywhere because as people move and urbanize more and more and cities get more densely crowded the demand for these solutions is only going to increase putting more pressure on cities to partner with companies like Tesla and find a way to fix it.